Hey guys, Robert Field here. We're at ICAST 2017 in the Feel Free Kayaks booth. We're with Jim, the owner. He's going to run us through the overdrive, pedal and motor drive, hybrid drive. We saw it last year, but it was, it was kind of a rougher prototype. They yep. fine-tuned it, tweaked it. It's good to go, right? Good to go. We're going to be coming out in September with the first round. Excellent, excellent. They've got a new boat model, the Dorado. It's going to be coming out next year sometime. Let's start with the overdrive. Like I said, we saw it last year. We did a video on it. Um, what have you kind of fine-tuned, tweaked, and then kind of with the overview of that as well? Sure, sure. You know, last ICAST, we introduced the concept of the overdrive. We're now uh, producing some of the first ones, and we've gone to a much heavier duty shell. It's cast aluminum. Uh, it has an LCD screen on the front of the motor. It tells you RPM, amps, and battery life. It's impressive. And uh, so that, Basically, the concept of the overdrive is that you have both options. You have the pedal option that can be, you can buy just the pedal for $1,100. Sure. Uh, or if you want to add the motor in addition to the pedal, uh, you can do that as well. And the motor option is another $1,400. I really like that it's kind of modular, so someone could go buy the pedal drive if they can't afford to get the whole thing, and then down the road, maybe their wife buys them for Christmas, the motor insert. Or, yep. Uh, and no one else has a hybrid drive, one drive that does both. No, they right? don't. And and what's nice too is a lot of the lure owners that have been buying lures that have the sonar pod in it can add the pedal now. So it retrofits. Retrofits, the lure. yes, exactly. That's cool. I think a lot of manufacturers really make that mistake and kind of disown their their past customers by making coming out with killer new stuff that can't go on the old boats. That's really that's killer. It is. It is. But we, you know, we're really proud of it. You know, we wish we could come out with it sooner, but there's a lot of technology, a lot of development, and Absolutely. we aren't going to put it out until it's, you know, 100% and ready to go. Well, that's the way to go, man. I've, plenty of companies throughout history have rushed something and it ended up falling flat where I feel like it could have succeeded if they, you know, were patient with it. Yep, no, it's it's the most, you know, complex system out there, and uh, right. we've we've kind of gone the extra mile mm -hmm. to make it even nicer than what we originally introduced, and um, we're we're very excited about it this coming yeah. season. Like I said, no one's done that before, so I mean, they're really pioneering the way in terms of a hybrid drive. So, uh, really exciting. I'll definitely say that it looks a lot more polished than last year. I mean, it look, I mean, it looks ready to go. And the LCD screen, you know, obviously, you don't want to be motoring 100 miles down when, and run out of battery. So yeah. it's nice that you can keep track of that right there in front of you. Absolutely. Um, great, man. So this is on the Dorado, which is the the new model that they've announced here at ICAST 2017. New, brand new kayak. So run us through a little bit of this. What's the concept and, and some of the features? Sure, sure. So, yeah, this is a new platform for us. It really takes uh, kayak fishing to the next level. The Dorado is a bigger, uh, this model is a, a little bit larger platform at 12 and a half feet long and a 38 inch wide beam. Wow. And we've done some neat things with the, the hull and the, you know, the whole layout of the, the deck and the sides of the boat. The hull is a cathedral style hull, which is very fast tracking which is really important once you go to a much wider and wider beam. Right. You can't use a real traditional style kayak hull. It's going to get slow. It's going to get slow and it's going to it's it's really hard to keep a lot of structure in that hull as well. Sure. Going to the more of the cathedral style, we get speed tracking and a wonderful stability. Yeah. And very very tolerant from bow to stern and uh, side to side. So moving around in the boat, you don't you don't have that uh, dependence on secondary stability so much as the primary is so, so strong. Which is key, and in primary, I tell everyone, I mean, that's really what makes you comfortable in the boat, you know, and yeah. it seems like this is a perfect kind of crossover platform for not just current kayak anglers, but boat anglers that have been eyeballing the sport and want to get into something that they're going to be completely comfortable in and have different options for propulsion. Absolutely, absolutely. So what else we got? So uh, a couple things, we're using the same gravity seat that we use in the lures. Um, it's been fantastic, very comfortable, sit yeah. high, sit low, in between, lots of options there. Uh, unique to the Dorado, because we have a, a larger layout, we're able to incorporate more electric uh, storage space, yeah. separate port for the transducer, mm -hmm. uh, and also being able to kind of store all the, the wiring for the control unit for the overdrive. Right. And we also have integral lights. We have navigation lights up front and also uh, lighting in the cockpit and on the stern as well. And all that's kind of integrated in the boat and out of the way. Right, and it comes stock, just pre-assembled, ready to go. Yep. Nice. You'll need to add a battery. It's 12 volt system, so whatever type of battery you want to add, you can go with that. Well, it's simple, man. That makes it easy, just kind of right out of the box, ready to go. Some other unique things we've done on, on once you start molding bigger and bigger kayaks with uh, polyethylene, you know, the larger sidewalls are a really hard time to really keep that stiff structure in there. Sure. And so we've done a new system where we've 
uh, blow molded the, the side rails that are mechanically attached. And that gives it a lot of strength. It keeps it much lighter. Yeah. And it also allows us to articulate the gunnel and create storage throughout the whole side of the boat. So you can get to it easy and it's out of the way. I like that because so it's 38 inches wide on the outside. It gives you that, that killer stability. Uh, their gravity seat gets really high up, so you're going to feel real comfortable on that. Uh, but you don't really need 38 inches of cockpit. So this kind of allowed you to put storage compartments there for Plano boxes or anything else like that that you've got. I like that. Yeah. What's also unique is our new eight ball steering system. And that basically is it's more of a joystick style steering. So it's left to right instead of front to back or turning a knob. So yeah. it's very natural, very easy to use. Nice. And then the integral battery box in the back where all the, the wiring connects in the back. Again, clean and out of the way. I was about to say that. It's, it's clean. It's yeah. polished. There's nothing to get snagged on. There's not wires hanging out. And you still have plenty of storage back there behind it. I like that you've got this you know kind of storage hatch here for the electronic stuff. And you've still got more storage up in the bow for dry bags or any other kind of gear you need. And of course we have a track system installed on the bow and stern so you can add you know any of your favorite railblazer accessories right to the boat. Nice. That makes that very easy to customize the, the deck layout as well. Absolutely. So this boat the Dorado, when are you expecting it to come out? I know maybe not for oh, sure. Like but... February. Oh this coming yeah. February? Yep. Yeah, we're oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, so this is the final prototype and, and now we we'll be working on the production version and uh, looking at introducing it in February. Do you have a retail price yet? We're going to introduce it right at twenty nine ninety five with just the pedals. Okay. And okay. And that'll can... come with the lights and um, uh, you know all pre wired and everything ready to go. Just add a battery and you're you're good to go. And then for you said fourteen hundred, they can add the motor option. Yep. For an additional fourteen hundred, you could add on to the existing overdrive pedal unit. Yep. I think that's good that you're not forcing them to buy that if that's not important uh, to them, but they have that option at any yeah. time. Yep. Absolutely. That's killer. And the overdrive unit. Say for lure owners, when will that start shipping, or when's We're that going to start introducing it in September, later September. Great. You know, it, you know, we won't be able to um, have everybody. A million take, of them. Yeah, yeah. We won't have a million of them right away, but that's when the production will start, and we'll start shipping then. And as we move into the fall, it'll be increased availability. Well, it's exciting, man. I mean, you guys are doing something no one else has done before, and like I said, it looks extremely polished. Uh, I, I want to try it out. I'm looking forward to it coming out. So if you guys are interested in the Feel Free uh, Dorado or an overdrive unit for your lure, uh, ask your local retailer about it. Should start shipping in September for the drive and maybe February for the Dorado. Uh, looks like a killer platform, really innovative stuff. Uh, check them out, Feel Free Kayaks. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem.